Hello, podcast friends, and welcome back to Eye Care Outreach, moving through Soul Care Series. We are so grateful for your generous support and your listening ear as we educate, train, and serve in community. Pastor Rob, educator and founder of Eye Care Outreach, located in downtown Bridgeport, Connecticut, will share in today's message, Soul Field Thanksgiving. He will share how an attitude of gratitude and a well-connected soul to God can awaken our actions of awareness to others. Let's listen. Hi, I'm Robert Turner, and thank you for joining with us in our Moving Through podcast series. In our last podcast titled New Start, New Harvest, we continue to share about soul care exploring how the autumn season causes us to transition in our patterns of life, with the need to pull up that which is not producing any longer and make way for a fresh start of a new crop. We mentioned that stages of cultivation happen incrementally through the initiative of the Holy Spirit, being willing to allow God to change us in present season with a fresh start and fresh fuel for his will and his purpose. It was a call from God to us to release and relinquish those things which impede us from stepping into the new with our hands and our heart open as his vessels. Well, We're moving along towards the end of this autumn season. The fourth Thursday of November is Thanksgiving. It is a national holiday celebrated in the United States that has been marked as a time of giving thanks, prayer, feasting, spending time with family, watching football games, and parades. The Webster Dictionary defines Thanksgiving as a public acknowledgement or celebration of divine goodness, the act of giving thanks, and as a prayer expressing gratitude. As we are moving through life, it is essential to have a rhythm of ongoing spiritual times of embracing ourselves before God with a thankful heart. Thankfulness expresses our attitude and heart towards God. We draw close to him with gratitude and it is a soul-filled signal of our true affection and longing for him. With our hearts right toward God, we find ourselves in a life practice that rests on our belief in God with careful petition and sincere thankfulness. And this kind of heart will pump and flow right into our soul. Thankfulness is crucial to the Christian soul care life. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 informs us It is one of the things that we are to do always and in every circumstance. It reads, Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. You see, a truly thankful heart towards God manifests itself through a thankful soul. The dictionary defines attitude as a settled way of thinking and feeling about someone or something, typically one that is reflected in a person's behavior, in other words, frame of mind. Despite whatever is happening, the Spirit of Christ is at work in all our pathways of life. You know, I often will read a text from the voice translation of the Bible. The voice translation method attempts to translate the poetry, 
humor and beauty of the Bible's passages to produce an effect similar to what one would experience reading in the original languages. Well, the Philippians chapter 4 verses 12 and 13 of the voice translation, Paul says, I know how to survive in tight situations and I know how to enjoy having plenty. In fact, I have learned how to face any circumstances, fed or hungry, with or without. I can be content in any and every situation through the anointed one who is my power and strength. It is not only what we perceive to be positive that should cause us to thank God, we should thank God for everything because all things work together for those who love the Lord. Thankfulness is a soulful motive for our Christian life and conduct. It should be our general attitude, our, our, our frame of mind toward both the blessings and trials of life. With having a vital component of a prayerful life and right context for the proper use of material things. Far beyond any temporal blessings, we are thankful to God for his spiritual blessings. Foremost, we are grateful for his gift of salvation. Gratitude is a loving response toward God for his presence with us and his presence within this world. Though blessings can move us into gratitude, it is not at the root of, of a thankful heart. You see, Gratitude changes your perspective. There is a beautiful cycle in giving God thanks. The more we thank him, the more we see him working in us and others around us. You know, I'm discovering increasingly that our delight in God and his goodwill is the heart of be of thankfulness of a well-cared soul. Because gratitude helps us sense God's presence. It helps us to know even and sense his personal care and his perfect timing. James chapter 1 verses 16 and 17 says, Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights. It's said that gratitude makes what we have enough. If we're not grateful for what God has given us, getting more won't satisfy. The Cambridge Dictionary defines contentment as happiness, and satisfaction, often because you have everything you need. A synonym for contentment is well-being. Being thankful is the key to contentment. I like how 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 6, 7, and 8 says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world and neither can we carry anything out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with these. According to scripture, thankfulness is not only one of the many ways to serve God, but one of the most important. We ought to express inward gratitude, a deep internal frame of mind, outwardly through thanks and giving. Giving thanks is seen as an act of the spirit that responds to the much deeper sense of gratefulness. One is more private than the other and believed to be felt only by God and one's self. You and I can exhibit our thanks to the world through acts of service or words, but gratitude is felt by the soul alone. A well-connected soul to God can express itself connecting to community. 
You know, there's a one word difference between gratitude and thankfulness. Awareness versus appreciation. The word thankful implies action as a result. Once we become aware of the benefit received, we express it through our conduct, verbal affirmation, and actions. Gratitude awakens our actions of awareness to others. We see people. We see their needs. We can feel their pain. We can sense their poverty of spirit. And with a thankful frame of mind and a well-connected soul to God, we can extend ourselves to others for his purpose of rebuilding new life. Listen, we all should be thankful for our experiences. Only God has the capacity to use any and every circumstance, joy, problem, or troubles to activate thankfulness and giving to others. Jesus tells us in John 16, 33, in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Now, that's something to be grateful and thankful for. Let us pray with gratitude, thankfulness, and awareness of heart for God's gift of new life and our opportunities to share his new life with others. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for your amazing awakening power at work in our soul's well-being to share your goodness towards others. Lord, we are grateful for family, friends, strangers, co-workers, peers, and acquaintances. Help us to express the right attitude toward others with great love, concern, and care. Lord, your mercies are new every day. Thank you for giving a hope that does not disappoint through even the toughest of times. Thank you for your presence and never leaving. Forgive us for when we don't thank you enough or live with gratitude. Change our view. Renew our spirits with gratitude to give and share with others. We love you, Lord, and we need you this day and every day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.